welcome to Tea with Jan. I am Jan. Today we are diving into day 14 of David's Tea, 24 days of tea. This is their regular countdown, the one that's been around forever. <laughs> There's also a caffeine free one and they have a matcha one for the second time in a row. But <gasps> It, it still delights me every day. I love this one. It is so wonderful. It has so much sentimental value for me. So let's dive into day 14. Here we go. Day 14. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Can you guys guess what that is? Ooh, Candy King Crush. Yep. All those white chocolate pieces and the sprinkles and the pieces of candy. I feel like David's Tea, there's like these two cult favorites that are always battling it out against each other. It's Candy Cane Crush and Santa's Secret. There's no secret, I don't think. If you've been around for a while, you know I'm Team Santa's Secret. <laughs> but we're going to taste this one up and see if my taste buds have changed any. All right, let's dive into what it is. What is, what, where, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, Candy Cane Crush, it's a black tea. And here are the ingredients. Black tea, white chocolate, peppermint candy, snowflake candies, cane sugar, peppermint, natural peppermint, and natural vanilla flavoring. All right, what do they say? Uh, 200 degrees for three to five minutes. So we will do the four minute trick. Let's get this steeping and then we can uh, dive into our box of goody memories. All right. This one is just, it is so beautiful looking though. It's a really nice looking um, tea. All right. We have it in our perfect steeper. I'm going to go with, let's go with 14 ounces. There we go. Okay. Say five minutes. Hey, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes starting. All right, our timer is set. Let's see if we can find something to look at that is not bonkers. Okay, this is a letter sent to me in when I lived in Ontario, and the post stamp is 1990. Okay, so there's cute little flowers and butterflies on the back. Oh, it's so cute. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey Jan, it's me, Jesse. Remember me telling you about Jeff? Well, in class, you forgot. I'll fill you in, okay? Jeff is mom's boyfriend. Well, mom and Jeff are thinking of getting married. Ooh. <laughs> so how are you? I'm okay, but I am seriously thinking of moving out. It's not Jeff. It's Missy and Susie. I think that's her sisters, this person that's talking. Oh, well, that's life. I called Crystal one night and her grandmother answered the phone. I asked if I could talk to Crystal and her grandmother said she wasn't home, but... I could hear Crystal yelling at her brother, so I said I'd leave my phone number and she hung up on me. The nerve. <laughs> What's Nova Scotia like? How's Buddy and Ziggy? Buddy and Ziggy were my childhood kitties. Um, Buddy was a black cat, all black, and he was so soft. I can close my eyes and feel him. And Ziggy was a Norwegian forest cat um, that my uncle done some painting work to um a house and the owners bred Norwegian forest cats and he was um so sweet so adorable um yeah I miss them how's everyone else how's your story coming along mine's coming along okay Val tried to write a story about talk a story talk about boring mom said she still has to think about me coming down but I'll bet you she'll let me 
if you have a phone, I want your number. So can I, so I can call you sometime and we can make arrangements. Okay. But I'd have to be back before August 1st. I have to go see you soon. I hope Jesse. <laughs> That's so sweet. I, I didn't even know. Um, yeah, that's uh, unreal. So when I, uh, I grew up, um, my elementary years were in Ontario. So from like grade ones to grade six, and then I moved back to Nova Scotia. Um, and, uh, yeah, I remember Jesse, uh, we would have been in grade six together and I didn't realize that we kept in contact. So that's nice. That's a really nice memory. I, I enjoy that. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. I remember going to her house. And I remember that she had like dogs. I remember that there was like little dogs, like littler ones with like long hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Hmm. The things that happen when you're a kid and uh, yeah. <laughs> that was so nice of her though to write me. How are we doing on our timer? All right, there we go. Uh, so here is our tea. We can see uh, some of the sprinkles and stuff have melted. They all have not melted actually. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna go great. Here we go. Woo! So this is a David's Tea Nordic mug. So it should be able to hold this full 16 ounces. Um, yeah. Well, clearly, I guess, no, we didn't go to 16 ounces, did we? I can't remember. I, we get talking about old times and I just, yeah, forget everything. <laughs> So you can see that this is like a cloudy tea with all that chocolate in there. And there's always that like layer of glistening <laughs> on top. So, all right, let's see if my taste buds have changed enough for me to really enjoy this tea. Mm. When you're first kind of going for your sip and you're putting your snout in there, you can um, you can really taste like the menthol just like goes right down your nose. Whew. Yeah, it's super minty. I don't get a lot of like the black tea or anything like that. It has the back end of chocolate. I wouldn't say that it's like overly chocolate or anything like that. It's definitely mint forward for me. And it's sweet, very nice, not too sweet. It's just, it is a nice blend. I, yeah, I would drink this. But given the choice between this and Santa's Secret, oh, I'm always gonna take Santa's Secret. I would love to know uh, what do you guys think? Which one would you guys pick? Let me know in the comments down below. I can't wait to chat with you guys down there. Until next time, take care. Bye.